Okay, I'm Pat. Pat's Easy Chain System here. We've got a Category 2 here, going on a Category 2 tractor. This particular tractor has uh, telescopic lift arms. Our hitch will fit right over that, and the telescopic length will still work. We have one on this side here already installed, and uh, uh, the telescopic doesn't get in the way. So you're good to go if you own a tractor with telescopic lift arms. There's two different ball widths, an inch and a half and an inch and three quarter. This is inch and three quarter. So we supply the Cat 2 with two washers for space. Now you can put one on each side. You can do both sides or one side, whichever you prefer. That just keeps it from moving around back and forth on the lift arm. So uh, we'll get started here. Okay, after we get the hitch out of the box, we're going to slide it over the lift arm, put it through the hole. You can see on this particular lift arm, the hitch wants to drop down out here. We like to have it set up fairly parallel with the lift arm. That comes with a quarter and a three-eighths and a wedge shim. So we're going to insert a shim in the back, just slide it in the back, and to see which one uh, size shim we need. And this particular one here, we're going to combine the two together, the quarter and the three-eighths shim. Set it in here, and that's got the lift arm fairly parallel with the hitch. So what I've done, I took, lay these on, uh, firm surface, use a hammer, drive the roll pin, and that uh, locks them together. Slide our hitch off. We drop the shims through the hole in the bottom of the hitch. Then we can slide it back on. Okay. Now, installing the washers, I usually lay one in. This could be a little challenging. And I just barely start it. Okay, got my pin and everything through. Gonna slide one in on the other side. Use my finger to push it up, push it in. Here this row pin goes in this little notch. This keeps that from rotating. And remember to install your Carter key. We also start, uh, install the pin with the big hole. Stick it on the inside. That's for our lynch pin, our stabilizer bar. Okay, now we'll finish installing the rest of our hardware. Okay, here we are. We got our hitch stalled on. We got our shim in there. We got our two washers in there to take up the slack. Then we just simply install our uh, bolts here to uh, line the hitch up with the lift arm. And uh, what we're going to do here is uh, Okay, now we're going to set our width on our hitches approximately uh, 30 inches. I usually use a broom handle or something. And this way we can just kind of square our hitches up and roughly uh, around uh, 30 inches. Give it take a little. And uh, we just run our, uh, and also, then that when we just run our set screws in till we feel them touch the lift arm. Yeah, we and this 
kind of holes are hit square. Hmm, I'm going to need a 9 16 wrench. Yeah, and then we just kind of snug these up a little bit. And they don't have to be super tight. Just uh, run our nuts up, lock them down. Then we just drop our U bolt in. Put a flat washer and double nut both sides keeps it from vibrating off and hold your mouth just right Snug these up, we'll be good to go. Okay, we had the latch stop here. That's made to hold the latch open. So if you're taking something on and off by hand, or you're just moving it, and this slides around here to hold it in place. Okay, and we have a bell spear here that we'll just set up on. We also have our stay bar. fits in here and this is a adjustable so you can uh, lock it in position you can measure your implement good day